Well, hello everybody and welcome to my bedroom and my new filming set for YouTube. So there's a reason why, and I just wanted to also give you a catch up, let you know what's been going on in my life. People who've been following me and been loyal to this channel for a long time. I am so appreciative of you as there's been a lot of changes that have taken place over the past couple of months. And I've been a little quiet, lots of things happening behind the scenes, but I wanted to invite you into one of the most intimate places, obviously in my house, which is my bedroom and to share with you what is going on and what's been happening. So I posted a little while ago, a short that shared with you that I was basically leaving California. And, you know, California was never really going to be a permanent situation. I don't know if I've shared with you before, but my father was a sailor. And this is why I wear this pendant, because it was a cufflink of his. And my amazing, lovely aunt, when he passed away, decided to make this his cufflink into this necklace. So where I was at in California was actually where my father was placed in the sea. We cremated him and I always joke and say that he has done a couple world's tours now because this was quite a, a while ago. He's made it across the, uh, the globe. So California always had very special place in my heart from that perspective. It was very nostalgic. I grew up in Arizona and we would go over to Coronado where my dad was laid to rest and I would see him every Father's Day. I would, you know, visit in the summers. California just had an amazing, uh, just it was very nostalgic for me and my family. So I went to California when the pandemic was pretty much finishing up because I left my job, quit my corporate America job, quit, you know, being in that massive masculine role in a very high powered marketing position. And I thought I just kind of wanted a break. I just kind of wanted to like reconnect with who I was. So I went down to California and I did the thing. I walked on the beaches and I really lived it up. But I started to notice what a lot of people noticed about California was just how misaligned with the views that I was. They, there's, it's a funny thing, right? They say that you become like more conservative as you get older, but it really isn't even about that. It's just about personal freedom. And it's about being in a place where I feel less controlled because I've felt controlled my whole life, especially in a corporate America job where, you know, you're forced and you're mandated to get something and put something in your body that you don't necessarily want to do. So I, after really thinking through, started to look at other options, started to think about going back home to Arizona, where of course all my family is. Um, I started looking at places like Nevada. I love Nevada. I have friends. I had friends in Nevada. I have friends in Nevada. Uh, it's a very business friendly state. And now that I am my own business owner, right? These things started to come up for me and they started to make sense. And as I talked to my accountant and started to be more, a bit more responsible with my, my finances, all of these things started to make sense. So that's when I started coming to Nevada a couple of months ago, I started to, well, maybe six months ago, I started to see how I felt about this place and see if I really felt comfortable here. Now they say that God works in very mysterious ways and I've shared with you or you know, at some point in time, I, I like to keep myself uh, a little bit private because of the nature of this beast of social media. But I, I believe in a higher power. I believe in God. And I have always been, you know, throughout this time period, this, this I've, you know, five, six, seven years, I have really been praying for a man to come into my life where it makes sense and it fits and it works and it's easy and it's just comfortable and we're both healthy and we're in a good place. And I really have been working to prepare myself for these last couple of years to be ready for a man that be ready for him. And, you know, learning how to cook, 
uh, learning how to be the type of woman that I, I think that a man would want. And all the while remaining authentic to myself, all the while, you know, practicing what I preach. And so I went out with a man and he was in California at the time on business was he does long stays there, but he's also Nevadan. So isn't that funny how those things work out? He is a true and true Nevadan and uh, I hope I'm saying that right. I, I think I butchered it, but Nevadan. Yeah, he gets on me for messing up the pronunciation. Sorry if I did. But, you know, fast forward as the relationship grew and as my living situation and my lease was up in California because let's be real, nobody can afford to buy a house in California. I started to really look into what my life would look like here and what my life would look like with a certain someone here as well. And about a month ago, I decided to take the plunge to move here, to set up a life here, to be in a relationship and, you know, all the while still loving California, but really wanting to make this YouTube, make my career, you know, I've been preparing myself for this for a really long time and I wasn't going to let an opportunity pass me by again where I, you know, put my career first or I, you know, didn't take advantage of what was really truly in front of me, right? Like there was, this is that, there's only so many times where you can do that and you start to kind of, um, you lose a little bit of yourself. So the reason why I'm in my bedroom and the reason why I am going to be using this as my set in the future is that we want to travel. We want to, you know, really practice what I preach about who I am and about what I do here with relationships, talk about my relationship, talk about, of course, all the things that I talk about with relationships and give my opinions on what I think and how I feel and women and men and those dynamics. But, um, you know, I didn't want, I don't want to be sequestered to one area. We want to travel. We want to enjoy our life. We want to be in different places of the world. So, and, you know, eventually maybe start a family. We are getting there. Um, but this is the new set. Uh, you might recognize different bedrooms or different rooms as we are going to different places. I just wanted to be mobile because sometimes that's what I, that's why I did this. That's why I started this whole social media thing was to have that freedom and to be able to film and upload and do whatever I wanted to do that was going to fit my life because I spent a lot of my years being non-mobile and in a career that I really didn't love. And now I get to do what I love. I get to talk to you. I get to be as intimate with you and share with you experiences and share with you my love for what I do. And I want you all to go on this journey with me and I want to be a part of your life. And I hope that I can be a part of yours. So here we are. Thank you so much for your support, for following me through this. I am starting a woman's channel and I've been a little quiet about it because I really want to focus on this channel and then I will share with you at a later date when I do start that channel for the women who follow me. I can't wait. And that's it. I look forward to seeing you here again in my bedroom on the next one. So thank you so much for joining and I'll talk to you soon.